All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? Bear vs. Wolf here. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is really not uh, generally a photography type channel, usually a music, drums, guitar type channel. Uh, but I just wanted to compare a little bit um, the Nikon Z30, which we're shooting on right now, which is an APS-C lens or a system with a 12 to 28 lens on it. And we're at 20, uh, sorry, 16 millimeter right now to be the equivalent of a 24 millimeter full frame we're going to compare it to after this. So um, once again, this is uh, we're at 4K, 24 frames, um, standard picture profile. There is 8-bit footage because that's all the Nikon uh, Z30 can shoot. Um, we're going to compare that against the Canon R8, which has 10-bit footage. Uh, we'll start in a standard picture profile, and then we'll go to log. I just wanted to see, um, this is a typical shot that I use um, over the drums here and sometimes from the uh, back. And I just want to see how this compares uh, to the Canon R8. So uh, that's about it right now. Again, we're shooting 40, uh, 4K, 24 frames, um, 16 millimeter. We're going to change over to the Canon R8 right now and just see how that's going to compare. Give me a short little video here. Um, so now we're going to switch over to the um, Canon R8. And this is a full frame image. This is at 24 millimeter, the one before on the Nikon Z30 was at 16 uh, millimeters. So uh, if you don't know, you have to do one and a half times crop to, or one and a half times um, multiplication to match up the focal lengths on these. So again, this is 24 millimeter now. We were at um, 16 just a second ago. Um, I had the um, really wide lens, 12 to 24 on the Nikon Z30, and now we're over on the Canon R8. So again, all the sound is coming through the R8. And I just wanted to kind of see what the differences might be. We'll check it out in post. And um, you already saw the, uh, the Z30. Here's the R8. I'm going to do one more change and switch the um, R8 over to log and then color grade that footage with uh, just their, their standard LUT to see how much better we can get. We've got a little bit of lighting in here and just wanted to see uh, how much better that will be. So here we go. We're going to switch over to that. Okay, now here we are on um, the Canon R8. We're shooting now in log footage. Um, I'm exposed to the right or up about a step, a stop and a half. I'm gonna stop it down actually to, I think I've gone a little too far with that. <clears throat> okay, here we are again on the Canon R8, this time shooting in log, Canon log three, C log three. And, um, we're exposed about a stop, um, up one stop ex uh, uh, of exposure compensation. And um, we will color grade this in post and put their little Canon LUT on there and just to see the difference of what, what we got from going from an APS-C camera on the Nikon 30 to the full frame of the Canon R8. And now here we are in the Canon R8 with log footage just to see how, the, um, how, how far we could go. And we'll put a little... Um, Stinger clip on the end of this just to uh, see what we thought after once I get it all into Final Cut and, and graded. So that's it. Just a short video today to see what the differences are. Thanks for watching. Here comes the next. All right, so here we are on the final shot. This is the uh, back of the Canon R8. We're at 35 millimeter, 4K, 24 frames. Uh, this time I left the exposure. I changed the lights around a little bit and left the exposure at uh, only about a third of a stop up. Um, Change how my lighting was done a little bit. There's a little bit more coming in. Um, I thought the other one, the other clip was a little bit bright. That might be doing the same thing. So um, <laughs> I went to about a third of a stop instead of a full stop on the uh, exposure compensation. So this is again in C log uh, three, and um, I ch also changed the color gamut. I was on cinema gamut on the last clip. And this time we're in the 709, more of a, I think it's B709, Rec 709 <clears throat> space. And so I want to see if that makes a difference as well. The clip looks a little bit dark and hopefully it's, um, uh, we'll see in color grading here in a second. But that's basically it. So we went from the Nikon Z30 up to the Canon R8, Canon R8 and log. And here's the log again, just punched in a little bit to 35 uh, mil instead of the 24 mil we were at before. So yeah, uh, that's it. Mainly just to see the differences real quick, and uh, that's it. So 
The uh, Nikon Z30 always looked a little bit black and white to me. I'm not sure why you can't shoot it in log. Um, so the colors always just sort of looked like black and whitey, um, at least over my drums. Um, <clears throat> and so that's what kind of made me want to jump to a Canon. And, you know, I don't know. I uh, was looking for just better colors, like right out of the camera. And it's kind of fun just to mess around with the log thing and um, throw the LUTs on there and all that kind of stuff too. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what I was looking for. And uh, thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. And uh, we'll see you with some more uh, drum-related stuff and music-related content soon. Thanks. Bye.